and D here gets a chance to stand up and he fails it with a 12 he stays there all right and that is it for turn three now turn four Uh, the English have the initiative again, they tell the French again to move first. Alright. Let's see. B is engaged, but he can shift. Alright, S is going to try to start something here by moving there. Now H attempts to retain his footing, and fails, falls over, alright, well here is not engaged by anyone, oh, that's fun, alright here we go, he's going to go one, two, three, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So he charges out there, flips around, and goes boop onto the sky. All right, G needs an eleven to retain his footing. Ran from behind, and he does. So G was for oh yeah, and uh, X uh, yeah X has got to sort out. So now G has to move to there. Alright, not presenting his rear hex. Alright, now you you can't go in there. There's no there's no room. So he's stuck there. And he's engaged and that's uh basically all he can do. He, he's kinda you know, he's got an ally on his side, so he's, he's just stuck there. He can't, he can't even turn around because that wouldn't be in front of his horse. There's no room for the horse to be. All right. So, the English have, uh, well, this guy here is not engaged by anyone. Let's see, where can he go to you? Well, the horse is a hard target. Does he want to move on top of his buddy? Oh, right. I don't think Al could have moved that far because he was standing. That wasn't clear. Yeah. So L has to be L has to have done his move on to E instead. And so we'll keep the retain a footing. There we go. So G is back here. That way. And he's gonna take the side attack. Alright, so here we go. E has got his standing defense against the charge attack of L, having been pushed back a hex. With a 13 is a miss. Alright, L does his uh, sweeping uh, charge on E. Uh, 8 is a miss. S does a standard charge on E. Nine is a miss. <laughs> All right, B is doing. Uh, wait a second. And now the uh, yeah, now the uh, uh, swordsman here. G is swinging at U. He's eleven plus two minus two, so that comes out to an eleven. 
to uh, hit the side hex on you. And uh, with a 15 is a miss. X has got a 9. Uh, I guess against you here. Do any of them? Not the ones that are next to you. And that is an 11. It's a miss because it's a horse. He's, he's a mounted man. And you're just using a standard short sword against him. Not a, not a very good choice. All right. Uh, B here. Just doing, a ja uh, just doing a standard lance attack. Six is a hit. Four. Three dice minus one. All right. That's seven points on to X. All right, that's a dex minus on his uh, next turn. And you here is doing a sweeping. Miss. L doing a sweeping. Uh, three, four, five, six, seven. And just a dex is seven. Yes. All right, so it does. Again, that's uh, one, and uh, it's what? Well, all right, so that's uh, three points. Tade Mail stops that, and he, he has a uh, he doesn't have a shield ready. The chain mail definitely stops that. So that's it for turn four. All right, let's now let's see who's in condition to stand up. L here. L can stand up and does so. I remains dead. Oh yeah, and tramples. Here we go. B is trampling uh, R in the rear. And that is clearly a mess. Let's see, any other tramples? Nope, that's it for, uh, let's see, S. S against H. And that's an 8, which is a hit on the trample for two dice. On to H here. It's amazing nobody's been to, uh, Ooh, nine points. That's a six after the armor. On to H. That's a minus two on his dex roll to stand up. Which fails. All right, R here is attempting to stand up. Now 14 is a miss. And D automatically stands up. All right. And is engaged by S here. All right. That's it for turn four. Now, turn five. French or purple, as always. And with a six, the French have the initiative this turn until the English to move first. All right, L, uh, L, uh, L drew his sword at this point. So he's got, they did that last turn, so he has it ready now. So. L is going to remain where he is. X. G. Uh, 
And we have we have trapped the French knights. So basically, we're all going to remain standing in those, in those same spots. And the French are now engaged. So, but they still have their darn shifts. So they're going to take it. They're, they're going to be as shifty as they can. So B is shifting this way. So let's see what happens to. Uh, no, he's uh, shifting like that. So this hex is empty. So L's response is a 17. He definitely falls down there. E. All right. S is going to shift that way. Leaving that hex open for D, if he retains his footing. Ah, which he does. He's going to shift off to your side here. Alright, L is going to go to there. No, he's going to rotate like that onto S. Nope, he can't do that. But he can charge forwards onto E, so he does that. He's at one hex on top of E. E retains his footing. We all sorts of littering here. Oh yeah, who has dropped his lance? B has dropped his lance. Oh yeah, and now has a sword. Ah. Yes, he switched to sword last turn. All right, now you is going to, um, ah, there's uh, the dead hex there. So, yep, I'm going to uh, shift to there. And now G, as a 10, makes it back to the dead hex. Let's see, which way does he want to face? Back to the wall. All right. All right. Uh, B has got a guy underneath him. He can try and stab at that. So, X has got his sword out. And he's got a valid target. All right. The, let's see, any of the we anybody got any side or rear? All right. X against uh, U's front. Eleven and minus two is a nine, which is a hit. Two dice minus one. Eight uh, seven points. Nine of which bounces off. All right, G is also going to attack you. The 10 is a miss. He's using a sword against a mounted opponent. E is also against, uh, well, E against L, right in front of him. It's a 11, but he's at 8. Is he's using a spear against the mounted guy. Spear should not be at a minus against uh, mounted guys. I think that's an error in the rules. All right. Now, oh, D has got a side attack. 11, and now he's uh, 8 plus uh, 2 for the side is 10, so that's a miss. All right. Now, these guys, nobody's in front of the S, he's not trampling anyone. L has a um, target right in front of him, and H is on the ground. Ah, he's going to, uh, let's see, he's got his lance, so he's going to use it against E. 
It does not, uh, 16 is automatic mess with the lance. All right. Yes. Got no good targets. <laughs> Let's see. Yep, you got nothing. All right, B. I just got a trample here. So trample onto R or L. Uh, L looks like a better trample target. Trample with the front hose. Ooh. Five, six, seven. The horse has got dex eight. That's a hit. Two dice against L. Six points. Gives him a minus on his next, uh, up oh, five because he's got the cloth armor. All right. And B has no other good attacks. And I believe that is it for the turn. All right, next turn. Turn, lucky turn six. The French have the initiative and tell the English to move first. Do your worst. All right. Next, swords. All, right, all the long women have switched to swords at this point. Next, I'm going to shift to there. G is also going to shift. E is going to stand his ground. It is D. They're, they're waiting for a spin and flips if necessary against those uh, lancers. All right. B is not engaged by anyone. So uh, yeah, let's uh, let's uh, see if we can. There goes one, two, three, six, seven, eight, nine. Boom. Charge. Oh, yeah. Did anyone stand up? Uh, I think R had a chance to stand up. So we'll roll for him. See if he stood up. Yep. He loved it. All right. All right, so now E, nope, uh, you can't, you cannot, uh, yeah, yeah, because you can push him on just some other, some other guy who's on the ground. There we go. E, retain the footing. Nope. Yeah, I definitely need a, let's start putting markers here for which ones are now blocked this turn. All right, and um, where else we got? Um, you can shift. Uh, you can go there because of eyes hex is available, but you can't go on both of them because there's no place for this guy to go. He does so. So here we go. G rolls retain footing, and he fails. Boop. Well, they just get daggers out. Well, they bounce off the plate. Oh well. That's a good reason. All right, S is, oh, wait a second. L is engaged by uh, nobody. But there's not much room for him to move. You're gonna ask S to move first. S is going to do a shift on top of D. And D falls over. All right. Now L. Uh, 
Now it's going to shift like that. All right, and they put their charge attacks at the moment. So it is X first at adjusted dex of nine against, uh, no, we're saying adjusted dex of 11 against you. He's going to take that side shot. Uh, the 13 is a mess. All right. He's the only Englishman in his feet. So now, uh, B trample, miss. S trample, miss. Is there a human figure in here somewhere? Nope. You, ah, U is on top of G, so you can take trample there. Ooh, a double damage hit. Two dice doubled onto G. This will be fun. And stay down. 16 points. Yeah, G's gone. All right. And let's see, B here has got a sword out, and there's someone on the ground underneath him, so he's going to take a sword swipe there. Does not get the plus four, because he's a multi-hex critter. And with a eight is a miss. S has got a lance in the hand. He's gonna poke the guy underneath him with a lance. And it's a miss. L does a uh, on the standard lance attack. That's a miss. The 10, yep. And uh, that's it for that turn. Now, the people, who, oh, let's see, who's on the ground and can get up? R here. R gets up. You can get it up. L gets up. I is dead. G is dead. Here and now, who's under you? E is being trampled. So, he just got trampled, so he's down at the moment, as is D. He's also blocked. Alright, so now, turn 7, the blocks are removed, and French are purple. Alright, French has the first move, well, if I have the initiative, you can take the first move. Uh, da, da, da. All right, yeah, B is engaged, so he's going to take a shift onto R. He needs to retain his footing. And he flubs it. All right. All right, L next. L is going to push forward. Um, nope, there's no free hexes there. You can't, you can't, so he's just going to stay there. S. Let's see, can you get a clear shot to poke anyone? Not particularly. All right, so S is going to... Get it to there for the jab. 
And now you is going to, um, you can't do a shift onto him. Ah, but he can do the multi-hex uh, shift disengage, which he will do here. Oop. Just shifts away the guy you next to. Alright. Now X is engaged and he can't shift into the horse. Alright, let's see. L is double engaged. That's all that's on uh, um, their feet at the moment. Alright, now. X here has a sword. He's hurting, but he's still good to go. So he's going to take a sword swipe on L. And because it's against... Oh, yeah, no, 14 is definitely a mess. Alright, L has his sword out. And plenty of targets, so you're going to go against uh, B here. And that's a 12 to miss. Alright, that's all the Englishmen on their feet at the moment. So now, let's see, do we have any trampling alternatives here? R. Yes, we will trample R. An 8. Uh, for, nope, miss. You here is, uh, well, I is dead. I need to trample him. Alright, now Lance Pokes. L versus X, standard Lance Attack. There's a 9 and a clear miss. S is, let's see, there's E, uh, well, that's your buddy right for you. E is just down, so he's going to take a Lance Poke against a, someone on the ground. Plus 4 decks, yay! Yeah, which isn't enough to overcome a 14. And B against L. Eight is a miss. U against L. It was a sword. Oh yeah, he's got a sword now. Yeah, all right. He takes out his sword. I haven't noticed this before. But at this point, he draws his sword. All right, now for standing up. Everyone's valid to stand up, so D stands up there. All right, E, where is E? E stands up here. The sides of both of those guys. All right, H. H, H stands up there. R, where is R? R rolls to stand up. 9, 10, 11, he's got a 10, he stays on the ground. Alright, and the remaining longbowmen are both on their feet. Alright, now turn 8. Alright, uh, the English have the initiative. Tell the French to move first. Let's see what you got. Alright, well, there's an empty hex, supposedly. So, uh, L is going to go here. Alright, now X needs an 11 to retain footing. And the next hex over. Which he does. All right, you here. Now you can push forwards, not back, onto L here. Who, uh, the 15 fails to retain footing. Yeah, they're, 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 these are careful tramples that are one hex at a time. All right. B is going to do a shift trample here onto E, pushing him back into that to clear a hex. 
and E does not retain S16 auto fail on the retained footing. All right, so that is E who's falling over this turn. And also L. All right. Now S here is going to do a one hex shift around onto H. He retains his footing. And he's going to uh, move over here to your side for your troubles. All right. Now the English move. L is sitting here in a corner on top of a down body. Yay. Which would, uh, yeah, uh, what, what, what's, what's the dex minus for being on top of a downed body? Goodness, let's see. It's on the GM screen. Finally being useful. After all this time. Right, where is the GM screen? Pull that up. If you're in a body hex, uh, da, da, da. standing on a body is minus two. And I could definitely apply that a lot more here. So I will definitely start doing so from now on. All right. So, X here has got the uh, best X, well, let's see, now, now the English move. G, U, yeah, let's see, now he, he's got uh, all sorts of curvy moves, no, no straight charge. Now, well, let's see. One, two, three, around there. Be tagging the side. All right, so... The side attacks are going to go first. H against S. The six is a hit. 